Hey everybody, welcome back to the Video Geek Squad channel and in this particular video today guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about A-B testing on thumbnails and testing thumbnails. Now, um, I'm going to focus a little bit on the testing of thumbnails and uh, I've sort of made a little bit of a bullet pointed list here so we can sort of focus in on a couple of things. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit today about how much time you should really be spending on your thumbnails. Uh, the purpose of A-B testing on thumbnails, uh, YouTube updates for testing thumbnails, as well as how, um, yeah, and I put on that, how long you should be testing your thumbnails, okay? Now, um, the purpose of this video is to really sort of help you um, navigate your way around your thumbnails and getting better and more consistent with your thumbnails. One of the things that I will tell you is that you want to really kind of try and stay on brand as much as possible when it comes to your thumbnails. Your thumbnails shouldn't be all wicky wacky and all over the place. Um, you want to stay consistent with thumbnails so people will actually know um, what your thumbnail and what your video is about. And when people can look at your channel and, you know, tell what your brand is, it should be really, 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 really easy for them to do that. Okay? And so that's one of the things that I'll talk to you about. So how much time should you spend on your thumbnails? It's really going to depend upon exactly um, what the thumbnail or what the video is about. If you're trying to, if you're doing tutorial videos or you're doing you know, review videos, a lot of times you want to try to move as quickly as possible because these things are ever changing, right? They're not always going to be the same. So you're going to try to make sure that they're consistent with your brand, but you're not spending a, too much time on those things. Honestly, I can have a thumbnail done in a, in a matter of minutes. It doesn't take me very long because I've consistently uh, been building these uh, thumbnails and I have things in place to make sure that I can move really quickly when I do them Okay, so not necessarily spending too much time on the thumbnails is really uh, Is what would be my suggestion to you now? Here's the thing that I want to say about this as well when it comes to doing thumbnails um, You know there are a lot of programs out there that offer a B testing and a B testing is just a way for you to test one thumbnail against the other now, coming in the future, YouTube is actually going to allow you to test multiple thumbnails. Um, so I believe they're saying they're going to allow you to test up to three. Now, I have a software program that allows me to test two of my thumbnails simultaneously, and I will probably keep it at a two thumbnail um, testing sort of thing for this particular channel. But I wanted you guys to know, um, you know, that's kind of what's on the on the horizon for YouTube when it comes to thumbnails, okay? So let me go into this a little bit deeper and let's let's talk about this. Now, when you're doing A-B testing, like there's a software program out there called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy actually has the A-B testing as a part of the Legend um, package. Um, the Legend package is, um, if you do $316 one time, you get access to everything that's in the Legend package. And I believe this is what will open up your A-B testing features for you here will be the, the Legend package. Now, in order for you to get that Legend package, it's, it's almost $30 a month, right? And so you guys have to be thinking about that. I remember when that used to be like 40 bucks a month. And the Legend gets you access to everything. You know, you can't schedule and publish. You can't sunset some of the videos. And, uh, you know, so you have some, some different things that you don't have access to when you don't have the Legend. And one of those things is your ability to A-B test, um, you know, and you don't get that until you get to the Legend package. Okay, and so one of the reasons why I actually use another piece of software, and I'll be introducing you to that software, is... I paid a one-time fee for it, and I actually can A-B test my thumbnails longer than what's probably going to be the YouTube option. And the reason, and I'm going to explain to you the reason why I do that, uh, it, it, you know, it makes more sense when you, when you understand the A-B testing process. But this is why I don't use these tools, and I don't really worry about, you know, paying 30, 40 bucks a month to test thumbnails. And I'll tell you guys how you can do it, and I'll show you how you guys can do it at a, the discounted price. Okay, now the, the purpose of A-B testing is to see which one of your thumbnails is going to win the click. Um, it's going to uh, 
put your thumbnails up against each other and it's going to show you which one of the thumbnails works best, right? So that's really the purpose of A-B testing, all right? And I've already told you that YouTube is going to be updating uh, the testing feature coming up here in this year. Now, how long should you test your thumbnails? Now, that's going to depend upon how your workflow is and what you're doing um, as far as your workflow. Now, I typically send an email to all of my list and to everybody that's on my email list anytime I post a new video. And so um, the first day, I may get an initial jolt of views on the video, and then it's going to slowly die down on the the second day and the third day, etc. Now, it's going to continue to get views, but maybe on that second day is when I want to make sure that I'm A-B testing. So I'll A-B test the first day and the second day, but really the, the third day is going to be the real test for me because that's going to be what Google is using and the algorithm is using. And so I'll typically test my thumbnails for about 72 hours. Um, sometimes it's a, you know about three days and 24 hours or something like that. So I'll typically test them a little bit longer than the average person. But the reason why I do that is so that I can ensure the fact that I'm maximizing my you know, my testing on that. Now, I want to go into the program that I'm using that I paid a one-time fee for, and I'm going to show you this particular program so that way you can use it. And I'll put a link in the description below so that way you can find it also. Now, before I go into the software, I just wanted to remind you guys, our YouTube Roundtable membership is now open. This is so that you can get yearly YouTube website coaching. You guys get all access pass to all of our private posts as well as our YouTube know-how course. This is where we sort of go into all of the things that I'm mentioning here. Um, you guys will get access to our course. You guys get a 50% discount on all of our uh, other uh, courses if you um, become a part of the uh, the membership and you guys get a 50% discount on the all access pass. Okay. And so I kind of go over this and there's some information there for you. Now, I want you to understand something. When you get a YouTube roundtable membership, you get access to me for one hour per day. I'm sorry, one hour per week where I'm going to be giving you some yearly YouTube website coaching. So I'm going to be coaching you into success with your YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you how to go from not having any subscribers and not really being able to make consistent content. And I'm going to show you how to make consistent content and build out your content. OK, so let me show you the program that I'm using for all of my thumbnails. Now, this is an oldie but goodie. The name of the program that I'm using is called Thumbnail Blaster, or it, it, this is a part of the Blaster suite of products. Now, I call Thumbnail Blaster an oldie but goodie because this is a program that works really, really well. It'll help you make some really great thumbnails, and it's relatively not that expensive, okay? And you can go here, and I'll put a link in the description below for you guys, but it'll help you make some really good thumbnails and some standout thumbnails. But this isn't really the reason why I bought the thumbnail program. Why I bought the program was for the split tester, okay? This was what gave me the ability to split test all of my thumbnails without having to pay a monthly fee to do so. OK, because if you don't have uh, this particular program, you got to pay TubeBuddy or vidIQ or one of those other tools a monthly fee just to be able to split test your thumbnails. And so I don't have to do that. And I don't have to do that because I have the ability to split test. OK, now let's go into the split tester so that way you can see it. All right, now inside the split tester, you will see that I've run way more than this, but I have to go in there sometimes and delete them all because there's so many. Um, but what I love about this uh, split tester, it will show you how many views the video got, and it will tell you which one was the actual winner. And when it assigns a winner, it automatically just keeps it all, the winner on YouTube. So whichever one wins, wins, and it will keep it up on YouTube. Okay, and that's why I love it so much. Okay. And we just finished a split testing our our last review and it actually tells you which one actually won. And that's one of the reasons why I like it. But it gives you the percentage. And if you need to come in here and just delete it, you can come over here and delete it. Um, and then you just hit delete split test and it'll delete it for you. But this is called um, 
thumbnail blaster. It's part of the blaster suite of products, okay? And you can just simply go in here and you can use the thumbnail creator as well. Um, the thumbnail creator is pretty cool. You can come in here and I've used this a couple of times when I didn't really, I couldn't come up with an idea for a thumbnail. Um, I'll use this and it'll let me go in there and it'll do it. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Let's start with no video. All right, so here we go. And they have a whole suite of thumbnails that you can use to make thumbnails from. And I like these because they're really bold, they're really big, and you can see these really, really well. Now, when you get ready to do a split test, you just simply click on New Split Test, and it'll come up, and it'll bring you, you can come here, it'll typically bring you your last video here, and then you can change it here. But why I like it, you can make this a long test. If you wanted to run this for eight days or nine days, you could literally do it, okay? And that's why I like it. Um, so because after the first day, your first day is when you get your initial views. But normally the second and the third day is really what's going to determine whether or not you've got a hot one on your hands. And so you have to really be able to split test a little bit longer than, you know, normal. And so this is why I like this tool. And I'll link to it in the bottom there so that way you can get it. And then that way you could take a look at it. But this is how and why you should be doing and split testing your thumbnails so you can see what kind of response you're going to get and what's going to work really, really well for you. All right, guys, this should help you and hopefully you, you learned something in this particular video.